live in a time where people are making all kinds of bad choices. People are making things based on the moment, based on what's happening in the hour, and losing sight for a time to come. And when you get to an appointed time, a choice you made in a previous season has actually led to you abdicating a promotion or being disqualified for an upgrade. So there's, there's, a, there's a level of power that's needed in the kingdom to make right choices. Also power as it relates to ability or strength with which one is endued. In other words, there's like a mantle that will come upon you, like uh, God will put a supernatural cloak upon you and you're endued by that cloak to do a work in the earth ordained by him. And then there's another aspect of exousia, which, which means power to influence, and this translates authority. And normally when people talk about uh, power in the context of the Greek word exousia uh, or exousia, once again, they, they limit it to authority. But it's not just about you having authority because you can have authority and you lack capacity to make wise choices and now your authority can become abusive. And then here's another aspect. Power of rule as it relates to the will and commands of, 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 of that others are subjected to. So now there's a power that's consistent maybe with your positioning maybe with your voice, maybe with your status, that other people will come into your sphere and they are subjected to. Interesting to note is that when a person does not experience the power of God inside of their lives and then power is put in their hands, it's the stuff inside of us that usually messes us up. Okay, okay. Now, in, in Luke 10, 19, it's interesting. There's some key words I want to give you very quickly to open this text up. Besides the word power, where the authority, the influence, the ability to make choices and uh, strength is coming upon you or as it relates to your measure of rule, is designed to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Now what's interesting is that the word tread, when I look this up in the Thayer's Dictionary uh, for the Greek word, it means to advance by setting thy foot upon. So in other words... There's something that is obscuring your pathway. There's an obstruction in your way. And it's not just any kind of obstruction. It's a serpent that's creating the obstruction. And a part of you treading is taking your foot, putting your foot on it in order for you to advance and progress in your calling and assignment. And interestingly, when you look at the word serpent in the Greek, it comes from a Greek word called opis, O-P-H-I-S, and it, and it translates into this, sharpness as if through vision. And then it talks about literally a serpent. When you think about the seduction of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, we know that a part of the curse that came on the serpent was that it would be restricted to its belly and it would crawl on the dust, which means that we can also use our imagination to perhaps conceive an aspect of this, and you can look at the text this way. Maybe the serpent was erect. And maybe the serpent got in Eve's face and created context and content to detour her vision and make her focus on something forbidden by God. And a part of the imprecations of eternity on the serpent is that you will no longer be able to uh, manipulate my people by getting in their vision. But my curse upon you uh, is that you will be under their feet. Uh, and I'm giving them power to tread upon you. Uh, I'm giving them power to crush you. I'm giving them power to subdue you. Because there are a lot of well-to-do people uh, who have gotten distracted in life. Uh, you had vision for your marriage. Uh, vision for your finances, a vision for your family, vision for your education, and something got in your face, something got within the construct of your thought life and seduced you to take a detour only to put you in a bad predicament. May that spirit be destroyed by the power of God. May your sight be recovered and may you understand that the serpent crusher lives on the inside of you.